no question he is a legend. Uh, the beautiful thing about Dick Quartercracks is uh, all the years that he has been coaching, the game is still basically the same, but the kids are different. And he has been able to adjust accordingly uh, throughout the years and continue to be a winner. He's a gentleman, uh, class act, cares about his kids. His kids are always disciplined. Uh, they play hard. They play to win. He, he loves the game, and, and he's, he's fun to watch, uh, both on the bench and then, of course, before and after the game. Uh, and he wants to win, but he is a class act win or lose after the game. I think the most amazing thing about Coach Quartercracks is the, is the generations that he has spanned. Often you see it in, in high school basketball or in any, any coaching deal where guys last for a long time, but Coach has taken it almost a third generation of players. It's really remarkable that he has that sort of a staying power, and he's done it in the small school culture, just classic high school basketball. And, Putnam County and, and coaches staying power and his consistency with winning over the years I think speaks for itself like maybe no one in the history of Ohio. It's just a, a true loyalty and a love of the basket, sport of basketball in general and, and the giving of himself for any reason and anything. As far as Clyde goes, the success speaks for itself. You don't have to, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to say anything other than the fact that uh, it wasn't really everything about winning at all here, but it was about making the making the kids become a better team. That's always been his big emphasis. You know, when the kids are better and they're better people and things like this, and you see them in the community now, years later, they're you know they're just uh, just a well-rounded person. My best memory is the '81 year when I was a varsity assistant and we uh, won state tournament. We had gone down the year before, but when we won state tournament, it was kind of like a bird and lifted off of his back. And he had been close in the regionals and finally broke through the year before. But just to win this uh, and get that opportunity to go back to state, my memory is, I guess, is at Bowling Green State University when, when we finally won that back-to-back -back title in regionals. He sat back on the bench. He was just so flabbergasted that I'll never forget. He was on the bench and instead of standing up and jumping around like I was when I was 25 years old at that time, uh, he kind of leaned back in the bench and I, I don't know, you'd have to probably see it on tape, but he just leaned back and I thought he was having a heart attack. I mean, I, I saw him lean back, close his eyes and just, I'm going, oh my God, <laughs> scared the heck out of me. But uh, just this little things then afterwards in the locker room and things that he said to people and so on, I guess those are my personal memories. So what I am, I am absolutely humbled that God has given me the privilege to have the help to stay with this thing for 50 odd years. And then I'm also very appreciative to people, my family, my immediate family, my basketball family, all the players and coaches that I've had. It's just been an honor to be a part of that with them. I hope every one of them that's been associated with me understand this is a part of their 800 situation as well as it is mine. So.